Hi guys, my name is Chidano and today I am I'm going to be filming um, one of my weekend routines. The only difference is the display that I'll be using. So today I'll be using the powder green. Um, okay, so we're needing the clay and some rose water, facial oil and my brow shaver okay so um i'm gonna start out with applying some oils to my face so that my face is kind of moisturized so this is the diy face oil and all that but I don't have acne now so I'll just deal with my notes in there. So what, so what if you're stupid and you know it's not the wrong But you and me got a whole lot of meaning I don't know how So um I'm gonna go wash my face with my black soap and I'll be back okay, so guys I've washed my face so I am, um, I don't really have a platform where I'm placing this, so bear with me. Um, so I have this my cup here. So what I have here is Kaolin clay. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So Kaolin clay is very good for acne prone skin. I think this is much but I really found these shapes out now. So I have my rose water. So I usually use, I recommend for those with serious acne, this rose water or apple cider vinegar. So if you feel like apple cider vinegar is expensive, go with rose water. This rose water is one two. Some people sell it for one five. But for now, don't use water. I use, I've been using water for a while, but that's because now my acne is no longer, I only have hormonal acne, which is only during my period. Sometimes during my period, I don't even see acne at all. So my acne, I've really like, I've dealt with it really big time, okay? So if you know your acne is still very, very serious, I recommend you use apple cider vinegar or rose water to mix your clay. Okay, so this one is only Kaoli clay. I also have another recipe of a uh, face clay mask, which is a mixture of several clays and powders, and that one is for sale for my brand Dan Beauty. So, guys, we are going to start applying this. So, I will be using my brush. I like to go over my brows because sometimes I do have acne on my brows. Guys, this acne has dealt with me. So I don't take chances. Sometimes I have acne in between my edges. So I like to go in because these are some of the places my makeup gets to. So I like to go in. I also have acne behind my ears sometimes. So I also like to go in. So the other thing I'm going to do is to take this clay and also apply it on my chest area. So some people don't know there's what they call chest knee and back knee. So for people that have acne that pimples on their chest and back it's okay to go in you know with your clay mask on the in those areas so i'm going to do that off camera and of course have my bath before coming back hey guys, so so i am back i have had a full shower so i am now going to go in with my proper routine i'm going in with my face toner first So everything I do for my face, I'm going to repeat for my chest 
and my back because I said they are realized that they have been having some minor breakouts in those areas. But you know, for those of us with acne prone skin, you have to keep taking care of the skin. It's not much, just like one or two, but you know, a lot of times you just want that smooth feeling when you touch your back. So I just I'm a little bit extra with that. Okay, so now I'm going in with the my this is a serum I recently developed so it's during the trial period usually because it's kind of evening here I'll go in with my niacinamide serum so this is a niacinamide and licorice however this one is azelaic now azelaic acid is basically for acne treatments okay so I just thought about making a serum for that instead of using vitamin C and besides vitamin C um what's the word again uh, i've forgotten however it turns it changes color over time so either my products spoil before i sell them out or if i'm the one using it at some point either i have to throw them out so i said no vitamin c for now i'm going to make vitamin c only based on other vitamin c serums are very good trust me they are very very good but for now i'm going to be making them based on other okay however this as like acid serum is amazing So, I'm gonna massage that into my skin. Also, has a uh, brightening ingredients to also aid because azelaic acid also brightens the skin, but minimal in a minimal way. So, there are some brightening ingredients to aid um, uh, the spots removal and all that. So, now that the acid deep serum has absorbed into the skin. Next, I'm going in with my anti-acne face cream. All the products I'm using are from my brand, Dalo Beauty. You can check out our Instagram page or check out um, our WhatsApp where you can reach us. So, this anti-acne face cream. We also have a bright new face cream. That one is for when you don't clear your acne. So you can just use that for your face. I'm going in with my face oil. I only use this for my nighttime routine. It also has healing properties, healing ingredients, uh, soothing ingredients, brightening ingredients. Everything is just to generally give you face, give you a smooth, clear, even tone skin. So it's not time. The skin has time to absorb all these juicy ingredients. There is no way you stick to this routine and not have results. Okay, so um, I'm done with my face. Of course, um, after this video, I'm going to deal with my body. But before I go, I'm going to leave you guys with a tip. And I uh, just want to talk about um, purging because a lot of people. Uh, a few customers have told me, oh, when I started using your product, I had some rashes, I had some breakout like whiteheads. That is purging. It doesn't mean the product is not good or like the product is not working. Um, a lot of times we use the wrong products or harmful products. So when you introduce products, especially products that have AHAs, of which a lot of our products have them, AHAs and BHAs. So when you introduce these products to your skin, these ingredients to your skin, your skin is going to react to it because of the changes it's going through. Your skin is going to react and how that reaction appears, it appears in terms of rashes, okay? Now, um, for purging, purging will happen literally all over your face or just some parts of your face. But if you're having breakouts in new places where you don't usually break out, and I mean like major painful pimples, then you can say, okay, that product is not working. But if they are just form of rashes, you know, and it's coming, coming out the usual place, you have, um, acne and all that then you're purging you're purging your pain and it just takes a few weeks if you can be consistent you can be patient it doesn't matter who is telling you ah, what happened what are you using a lot of people are ignorant they don't know some of these things they don't know a lot about skincare okay don't listen to them just say don't worry my body is just going through a phase 
for those of us that for those of you that go to spas you know for or you go and meet a dermatologist you will see that during a period you're going through a treatment they'll tell you don't use makeup don't use this and stuff like that your face will get puffy to turn red those are some of the results of the treatment so some of the results of using products newly is purging so you need to read up on purging learn more about it so that you know what is going on with your body or your face so you will not just be like oh the product is not working i'm not going to use it again then within two weeks you introduce another product if something happens within two weeks that's how a lot of people have ended up using so many products within a short period of time and having terrible results because you don't have patience to see products work for you okay so that'll be all this is how i achieve my smooth blemish free skin if there was any acne on my face by the time i'm done with this in two days they're going to dry up then in a few weeks the spots is going to clear so you see how my face looks so guys i'm going to be saying bye see you in the next video so if you are a returning subscriber thank you for watching if you are a new subscriber thank you also for tuning in don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get notified when i post a new video and if you have any skincare questions please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section also do you like my routine what do you think about shaving your skin um that's like diy micro dermabrasion and all the skincare every other skincare routine that i use in this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section is this something you do are there things you have picked up from this video you're going to do differently just let me know and i'll see you in the next video bye